Today, El Paso County prosecutors and the sheriff's office went on the defensive about why charges weren't brought against the suspected Club Q shooter one year ago. Today we learned those 2021 bomb charges against the, sus the suspect were dropped and prosecutors say that's largely because the suspect's family refused to testify and dodged subpoenas from the court. Whatever led to the uh, victims not cooperating in that 21 CR 3485 case, I can't tell you. I can only tell you that they didn't cooperate and it led to the dismissal of that case. But this office absolutely prosecuted it. We prosecuted it until we couldn't prosecute it any longer and it would not have prevented the Club Q shooting. Well, Denver 7 investigative reporter Jennifer Kovaleski joins us with the very latest. So we received unsealed records concerning that last year's bomb threat just, just about an hour ago. So I know you've been very busy digging through these. So what, what do we know? Shannon and Jessica, we have spent the last hour going through more than 100 pages. The court just released all records related to the 2021 bomb threat case. The documents give us an intimate look into the suspect's life. The Club Q shooter, Anderson Lee Altridge, was charged with several felonies after that bomb threat. This is video the suspect live streamed on Facebook during the standoff with police. The arrest affidavit just released describes how the suspect's grandmother told deputies her grandchild quote told her he was going to be the next mass killer and has been collecting ammunition, firearms, bulletproof body armor and storing it in the basement. Well, you might think those statements would be enough to convict the suspect. The DA stressed to get a conviction. Prosecutors needed the family to take the witness stand and testify those statements were accurate. But again, the family refused. A letter from another family member also provided chilling new details. Describes how the grandparents had to sleep in their bedroom with the door locked and bat by the bed. The letter also says the suspect purchased two 3D printers, which were used to make guns. The DA says one of the weapons confiscated after the bomb threat was in fact a ghost gun. We still don't know how the Club Q suspect obtained the guns used in the shooting. The DA made clear the weapons from the 2021 case are still in police custody. Jessica? Very complicated case there. Thank you, Jen. And looking deeper tonight, the DA is now calling on lawmakers to change how cases are sealed. Right now, when charges are dismissed, a case essentially disappears from the official record. The DA wants to see previous cases unsealed immediately, especially when it involves a suspect connected to a serious crime like the Club Q shooting. And one of the survivors of that shooting received a standing ovation today at UC Health as he was discharged, discharged from the hospital. Ed Sanders spent more than three weeks at the hospital in Colorado Springs, recovering from gunshot wounds to the back and to the leg. Oh, I'm so relieved and overjoyed. I don't know what to say. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Ed says he's excited to go home and spend time with his cat Lucky, where he can heal in the comfort of his own home.